All right, Shalom, Most High in Christ. Bless everybody. Welcome to today's class. I am Brother Raphael, and to my right, I'm Brother Na, and to my left, Brother Jacob. Uh, today's topic is called Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. Oh my goodness, Gentiles. You know, that's one word that our people get caught up in, especially in Christianity, okay? Jews and Gentiles, they get so wrapped up in those words. And one thing y'all have to understand, brothers and sisters, we know a Gentile means a non-Israelitish people, a non-Israelitish people. At some point, we were called Gentiles. So sometimes that's why we get twisted and keep thinking a Gentile. Which Gentile, which Gentile are you? Because a lot of times I people want to say, because 18 nations on this planet, and they still here. Okay, um, there's no end to the people. That's what the Bible says. So what starts to happen, our people get twisted. Okay, they get caught up in philosophies of men. They let people take them for a long ride and don't do no research for themselves. They just take things face value, right. okay? They don't question. They don't question nothing. They just, a pastor will tell you, I am a Gentile. But you ask him the question, which Gentile are you? Because you got 18 nations on this planet, okay? So that's the problem because you so-called blacks and you so-called Hispanics whose fathers are of Negroid and Indian descent, we are the biblical Israelites. Make no mistake about that, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, on the contrary to what many, many people may believe, there's no such thing as a black Hebrew Israelite. Oh That's God. foolishness. Okay, well, if you say that, that means you're foolish. Okay, it doesn't make sense. Okay, first of all, black is a color. Hebrew is a language. And we are Israelites. Yes, we are. And the Christians will call you, mm -hmm. you've seen them on Facebook. Right. B -A, they'll call you B-H-I all day. They know it's derogatory. All right. They're taking a shot at you. And that's okay. Because like Christ says, Let's go to it. Let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 11. See, you can say what you want. It makes no difference to us because we're not emotional, okay? Listen, they said things about Christ and the disciples. Yeah. What we'll make you think the Messiah says something, okay? And what we have to understand as Israelites, we have to come to the knowledge of who we are first. Mm -hmm. Once you know who you are, you know what your role is. You know what your purpose is. And that's the problem with our people. They don't know who they are. So that's why we're savages today. Okay? Matthew chapter 5, verse 11, for a This is for these people who want to talk bad about us, disrespect us. Okay? And that's fine. Okay? We love that. Mm -hmm. Keep it coming. Read. The book of Matthew, uh -huh. chapter 5 and verse 11. All right. Blessed are ye uh -huh. when men shall revile See, you. See, that's what the Messiah says. It's written in red, correct? Mm -hmm. Christ says, blessed are ye when men should revile you, okay? How are they reviling us? Oh, they just, you know, you have to watch those false prophets. Mm -hmm. You know, they want to revile us and speak evil. You think they didn't say things about the disciples mm -hmm. during that time? Paul went to Paul court hell, okay? You know, all the disciples and the prophets before us were persecuted. They went through a lot of different things, right? Mm -hmm. Read on. And persecute you. Uh-huh. And shall say all manner of evil against you. Falsely. Falsely now. They say things falsely. Okay? Why? Because they understand prophecies that our people don't understand. See, sometimes what people don't know is the, the upper echelon knows, but we don't know. But our job today in this journey through the scriptures is to prove the truth. Okay? Read on. For my sake. For Christ's sake. Mm -hmm. For Christ's sake. Okay? Read on. Rejoice. Do what? Rejoice. The Bible says rejoice, all praises. Mm -hmm. Because that's how you know we're in the truth. See, the prophets is letting you know that the true Israelites got to endure tribulation. And that's what we're under today. Mm -hmm. Okay? What did it say again, brother? Rejoice. Uh huh. And be exceedingly glad. All praises. <laughs> all praises. Read on. For great is your reward in heaven. Hey, hey, listen, it's a means to an end. Okay, before you know it, this captivity is going to come to the end. As a matter of fact, this is the last captivity, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. So you're supposed to be rejoicing based on that point alone. Okay, now let's go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 8 and verse 20, as customary, because you have to say, you have to ask yourself a question Are the commandments done away with? Okay, because if they are, okay, ask yourself another question. 
who said that? <laughs> because Christ definitely didn't say it. Okay. So the book of Isaiah, chapter 80, verse 20, and the Revelation, chapter 19, and verse 10. Who has it? The book of Isaiah, mm -hmm. chapter 8, and verse 20. Okay. To the law. The Bible says to the law, right? The whole Bible, the whole Holy Bible is compacted with laws. Okay. It says to the law, right? Read on. And to the testimony. Now. Not just the laws alone, because you just can't say I just believe on laws and I have Christ, and I just can't say I just have Christ and I believe on laws. They have to be coupled together, right? Give me the Revelation. The Revelation, chapter 19 and verse 10. The book, the Revelation, uh -huh. chapter 19 and verse 10. Okay. And I fell at his feet to worship him. Right. And he said unto me, mm -hmm. see thou. Do it not. See, thou do it not. Read on. I am thy fellow servant. The fellow servant because we are the servants of the Most High. That angel is a brethren of ours. who is an Israelite. We are fellow servants. Read. And of thy brethren. Uh-huh. That have the testimony of Jesus. The testimony of who? Of Jesus. Oh, wait a minute. Are you sure that the testimony of uh, my pastor? <laughs> <laughs> he said the testimony of the Messiah and Jesus, we do understand, for some of you people out there, the J didn't come into existence until the 1600s. Right. But we're just saying Jesus, which means Savior anyway. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's translated to the word Savior. That's all it really means. And we're just using it to identify who the Messiah is. And we're speaking English. Exactly. J is in the English language. Exactly. That's so. Exactly. So I just want to just say that for some of these people. His name is not Jesus. Okay, we know that we know he does have a name, but it's just a title. Okay, exactly. <laughs> said, exactly. Great point. Great point. Still use the J for Judah, right? <laughs> Read on. Worship God, worship the Most High. You got to worship Him. And how you worship Him in spirit and in truth. Okay, and you have to ask yourself a question what is spirit and what's truth? Because He said, Dub, do what? Worship God. Hold that, brother. I, I got. I, I got to keep it simple. Cause you got some people that's going. Some people going to get simple. Give me the book of Saint John, chapter four, and verse twenty-three, man. Because you know something. How should you worship the Most High? See, that's the question. You know, you say I want. I worship God. How do you supposed to worship Him? Because Christ Himself tells you how you are supposed to worship mm -hmm. the Father. Right. Right. So the book of Saint John. Chapter 4 and verse 23. The book of John, chapter 4 and verse 23. Okay. But the hour cometh. Then the hour cometh. Read on. And now is. Oh, it's now. Now the hour cometh and now is, right? <laughs> read on. <laughs> when the true worshipers. Oh, the was it false worshipers? The true worshipers. He says the true worshipers. And how is it true? Because guess what? You keep the commandments. Mm -hmm. If you're not keeping commandments, you're in a false doctrine. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, we just going to keep it. Keep it real with you. You're in a false doctrine if you're not keeping commandments in the faith of Christ. It's as simple as that. Okay. What does it say, brother? Shall worship the Father. Uh huh. In spirit. Okay. And in truth. You gotta worship the Father in spirit and the truth. Okay. Was that it? For the Father seek of such uh -huh. to worship Him. The Father says this is required. You have to, and what and what is the spirit? What is what spirit is it talking about? You worship him in spirit and in truth. That's why precept must be upon precept. Because what is the spirit? Okay, what is the spirit is it talking about? See, I'm not gonna hit you with a lot of precepts, but I have to hit you with this. St. John. Well, let me finish 24. Finish 24. Okay, sorry about that. And then you want six. I want six because we're showing what the spirit is. He said, worship him in spirit mm -hmm. and in truth, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, then you give me the book of um, give me the book of Psalms, chapter 119, the verse. Um, verse 19, verse 142. Okay, okay, go All ahead. Right, verse 24. Uh-huh. God is a spirit. God is a spirit, right? Read on. And they that worship him uh -huh. must worship him in spirit and truth. It said you must worship him in spirit and in truth. What is the spirit is it talking about? The book of St. John, uh -huh. chapter 6, and verse 63. Okay. It is the spirit that quickens it. The spirit quickens you. What does it do? Change you. Mm -hmm. The spirit is the spirit of Christ. Because remember something, brothers and sisters. The only reason you know you're an Israelite is because of the spirit of Christ. That's right. If you don't have the spirit of Christ on you, you think you're another nation. 
you wouldn't you wouldn't even know that you're an Israelite, okay? Because you don't have the spirit of Christ on your spirit quickens you, it changes you, right? Wait on. It is the spirit that quickens it, okay? The flesh profit nothing. The works of the flesh profit you nothing, okay? Because all the works of the flesh going to do is bring you to destruction. Right. Read on. <laughs> the words that I speak unto the you. The words. You hear what he's saying? The words. And that's Christ speaking. The words. Read on. They are spirit. They are spirit. Read on. And they are life. And they are life because guess what? If you're not keeping commands in the faith of Christ, you're dealing with dead works. Straight up. Okay. Now what the truth is, he said, he said, worship him in spirit and in truth. Mm -hmm. Right? What's the truth according to the Bible? Precept must be upon precept, brothers and sisters. That's why we're jumping from book to book. Okay, I'm gonna slow it down and go too fast. Okay, I know some people they just you know they they flip through their scriptures. <laughs> okay. You know, he said his words are truth uh -huh. and they are life. Right. And he also, you know, John 14 and 6. Right. He's the way, the truth, mm -hmm. and the life. So you gotta follow him. Exactly. You gotta follow his words. That's the point. You got to worship him in spirit and in truth. Right. You got to follow. You cannot get around the laws. I don't understand why you can't. People, you, you, I know why. I know exactly why. Right. You don't have the spirit of Christ on you. Right. They just keep it honest. Okay? Go ahead, brother. What's truth? The but when you, song. No, go ahead. What? When you follow him, you can't, like in Christianity, mm -hmm. you can't just follow him in word. Mm -hmm. You got to follow him in deed. Of course. Do what he did. Of course. If you are a student of Christ or you're a follower of Christ, wouldn't you do what he did? Mm -hmm. You would follow what he did. He's giving you an example. I want to follow his perfect example to be like him. He will tell you, don't be here. <laughs> right. Yeah, be doers of the word, right? right? Be like, oh, I know what it says, but right. I want to do what it says. All right. right. Okay. Now, let's go to it. What's the truth according to the Bible? The book of Psalms, uh -huh. chapter 119 and verse 142. Okay. Thy righteousness. Is it everlasting righteousness? Everlasting righteousness, read. And thy law is the truth. See? So you're still going to go back to the law mm -hmm. because it all couples together. You have to couple to the law and to the testimony. So when you go back to Revelation chapter 19, verse 10, what is it really saying again? See, that's why we're, long, we're showing y'all that the Bible defines itself, right? Okay, through precepts. And that's why a precept is a law. So that's why our so called Christian. Christians eight precepts because they don't want to keep commandments. It's just, it's just that clear. Okay? Now, excuse me. No, Matthew 9, I mean, excuse me. The Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. The book, the Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. Okay. And I fell at his feet to worship him. Okay. And he said unto me, uh -huh. See thou, do it not. Right. I am thy fellow servant mm -hmm. and of thy brethren. Right. That have the testimony of Jesus. Right. Worship God. Worship him in spirit and in truth. Worship God, read on, for the testimony of Jesus uh -huh. is the, the spirit, spirit of prophecy. prophecy. And that's why you have to have the spirit of Christ on you to understand prophecies. That's why they don't understand prophecy, because they don't have the spirit of Christ on exactly. them. It's simple as that. That's just that simple. I have the spirit of Christ, I understand prophecies. I don't have the spirit, guess what? I'm in madness. Straight up, okay? Now... <laughs> Go back to Isaiah 8 and 20, bro. The book of Isaiah, finish it up. chapter 8 and verse 20. Okay. To the law mm -hmm. and to the testimony. Okay. If they speak not according to this word, uh -huh. it is because there is no light in them. There's no light, which means no law. And what do the laws do? They help you navigate. See, a light, what a light does, it helps you navigate through darkness. Mm -hmm. And darkness is sin. So when you navigate through the scriptures, what that does it gives you a roadmap on how to get the kingdom. If you don't have light to see the roadmap, how are you going to be able to know how to get to the kingdom? Mm -hmm. You all know because we've been caught up in darkness, lies, philosophies of men. We're thinking that, okay, we're thinking we're something else that we're not. And that's a plan, brothers and sisters. Y'all don't think, y'all don't think other nations know who you are. You don't think they're cahoots. This is not a conspiracy theory. It's the truth. Give me the book of um, Psalms, chapter 83, bro. A little something. You don't think the nations know? Because a lot of y'all keep thinking, okay, well, how y'all know this high understanding? Mm -hmm. Okay? But the nations know who you are. You just don't know. Sometimes, some of them will be honest with you. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, they won't. They won't. They won't. And you know what? It's sad because 
you got brothers, various brothers, different organizations, um, out there teaching his word, putting their lives on the line, trying to show you, so-called blacks and so-called Hispanics, who you are, to try to help you come to a high elevation. Say, wait a minute, man, something's not right. At least do your research, at least. Don't just take things face value. Even when we say, we don't mind you asking us questions. We don't mind, we don't feel offended. Because at the end of the day, we're going to stay in here. Mm -hmm. So you can come at us all kinds of ways you want to come at us. We're going to stand strong on this as it is written. Mm -hmm. Not based on our own interpretation. Based on as it is written, precept must be upon precept. Now, let's go to the book of, um, the book of our Psalms, chapter 83. Start at verse 1. <clears throat> the book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 1. Okay. Keep not thou silence, O God. Oh, you know what the Bible says? Keep not thy silence, O God. Because a lot of things are going on with our people that we don't even have an understanding on. Right. Keep not thy silence, O God. Read on. Hold not thy peace. Uh huh. And be not still, O God. Oh, yes. That's what we're asking. Please don't be still, Lord. Because now we see what's going on. Because once you awaken to this truth, then you have spiritual eyes now and spiritual ears. Read on. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. Oh, they're making a tumult. You know what they're doing? They're causing a tumult. They're causing nothing more tribulation for our people. Okay, you must believe they're doing it because guess what? We're being shot down the streets and nobody is standing up saying it's wrong. They may say it, but what they're doing indeed. Okay, that enemies make a tumult. Read on. And they that hate thee. That what? That hate thee. You don't think y'all hate it, huh? Hmm. <laughs> you thinking we are the world, we are the children. Let's just hold hands with everybody. You better believe you hate it. Okay, you don't think so? You still hate it. You see, you have to go by actions, not by words. Why do you think every nation on earth want to keep you from knowing where you are? Hmm. You think, oh, well, I'm African. You had one, some people try to say, oh, well, the Canaanites was the ones who came over here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's another lie. But it's crafty. Keep reading. See, see, it's, not, it's a part of prophecy. Okay? Read on. Verse 3. Uh-huh. They have taken crafty counsel. Oh, that's one of them. Oh, the Canaanites was the one who went through this. Oh, they're not really... Israelites, they're black Hebrew Israelites pushing a different doctrine. That's crafty counsel. And a lot of these, a lot of these nations, they sit back and they do this. Mm -hmm. Okay? They conspire to say, you know what? Let's keep these Negroes dumb. Right. Let's keep on hitting them. Because they don't mind you calling yourself a Muslim. They don't mind you calling yourself a 5%. They don't mind you calling yourself a Moor. They don't mind calling yourself a so-called Christian. That's why they allow. Uh, mm -hmm. That's why they allow uh, Jake's to push those hidden colors videos. Right, right. Um, right. Color videos because it, mm -hmm. it says nothing about your nationality. Right, right. Because remember something, they control the airways. Right. So let's say we had a true channel. Let's say we had a true channel. They yeah, shut us down the first day. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it's so hard? They so hard on us even on Facebook. Mm. See, we're not even pushing a hate camp. This ain't even a hate camp. It's the truth. Everything that we're doing, you can research this for yourself. Right. We're not pushing our own agenda. We're pushing the agenda of the most high. That's it in Christ. We're pushing what? We're pushing, you know what? Our nationality, where it's very important. How we have to repent, come out of the ways of this wicked society. Right. What's wrong with that? Okay? Because if, if you're teaching laws, I'm going to show you. So let's look at Bill Cosby, for example. Let's use him for an example. Mm. If Bill knew he was an Israelite, you know what, 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 what? He would never be locked up right now. Mm. You want to know why? Because guess what? He would have been committing adultery against his wife. Right. Mm -hmm. He would have been keeping commandments. Mm -hmm. Okay. He would have been dealing with other nations because right. he would have realized, right. wait a minute, I'm not dealing with this nation right here. This is not this nation ain't for me because the Bible tells me don't do this. So that right there, so as a man think of, so as he is, because when you think you're a Gentile, you're gonna do Gentile work. Do, do, do Gentile works. See, that's what a lot of Christians don't understand. If I call myself a Gentile, I want to operate in a Gentile state of mind. But if I'm an Israelite, who I really am, I'm going to go into the scriptures and show myself how to conduct myself, right. how I won't go out here eating pork, how I won't go out here robbing and stealing. And even in some of y'all churches, y'all be doing fornicational acts. 
messed around with other people's wives and other people. The pastor's doing You're that. Right. The pastor's doing You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you can't sit there and throw dirt on us because at the end of the day, we're trying to keep, we keep the commandments. Okay? And that's what, what that does. That, mm. what it does, what it, what it does, we keep commandments. It keeps you in order. Okay, and that's what Bill doesn't understand. Bill probably heard the truth, man. You can't say that that man ain't lived no 81 years and hear this. Mm. Okay, and it's sad because you gotta look at it for what it is. You see how they, they take this man, use him as the uh as the example. Okay, at first he was America's dad, America's darling. But now you mess with their women and see what happens. Right. No, no, okay. No. Oh no, 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 mess with the women, man. Okay, see when you mess with Becky. That's a problem. See, and that's what Buzz don't understand. Mm -hmm. See, that's crafty counsel because they don't understand that we keep on dealing with these different nations like that. Mm -hmm. That's why these things are happening to our people. Okay, believe that. See, this, like I, I'm going to say it again, this is not a hate campaign. Right. It's a truth campaign. Believe that. If you don't believe me, look at your statistics. Mm -hmm. Okay, how many brothers have died by the hand of Becky? Mm -hmm. I'll wait. Okay, how many brothers Emmett Till death by Becky? Mm. Okay, look at that for instance. You think we're making this up? And look, look at the brother just got killed in Dallas. Mm. Right. Woman, white woman walks up in his house, kills him, and what they do? We're gonna investigate him. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check his house out. We found, oh, we found some weed. Oh, <laughs> so all of a sudden, weed magically appears in this man's house. Right. Now you. I still don't have anything to do with what happened to him. Right. Had nothing to do with it. But I'm but where am I going with this, brothers and sisters? It's still dealing with crafty counsel. Mm -hmm. Go back, keep reading, brother. I'm gonna keep huh? It reminds me of how mm -hmm. Charlie Sheen did the same thing. Exactly. Cosby, but they flipped it and turned him into a bad boy. Right. It made it cool. Right. Mm -hmm. But he giving women AIDS. Right. Knowing this man got AIDS, he's supposed to get locked up. Right. Because he using his body as a deadly weapon. He right. knows he got a disease. Right. Okay, but they ain't call him the the men's society. You see what I'm saying? They started uh, what they start calling on women like Charlie Sheen. They uh -huh. started a campaign behind that zone. Uh huh. But Bill, they locked Bill up. Yeah, and call Bill and be called Bill a men's society. Call Bill, but see, that, but I'm letting y'all know right now. <laughs> I'm letting y'all know, crafty counsel. What's it say again, brother? <laughs> They don't understand. Right. Proper judgment never go. Forward. They don't understand. Mm. They don't understand. And you got a lot of people thinking, well, you know, um, everything's okay, Bill. You know, he 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 did mess up. Yeah, he messed up majorly, and he's paying the price for it. Right. Okay. But brothers, understand, and sisters too. This is for you, sisters too. Keep your mind on these scriptures, y'all. Mm. Stay within your nation and live according to this Bible as it's written. Because if you do that. The most high will protect you from that nonsense. But because we go outside of this, that's why Israel constantly keep getting caught on the air all the time. Because mm -hmm. when we go outside of this, it's always a problem. Okay? Right. But get, go back to Psalms 83, brother. Let's see the context. The book of Psalms, chapter 83, and verse 3. Yes. They have taken crafty counsel uh -huh. against our people. It's well thought out. When you say something's crafty, mm -hmm. it's well thought out. Okay? Read on. And consulted against thy hidden ones. The hidden ones is the Israelites. Mm. We are the we are the hidden ones, the so-called blacks and the so-called Hispanics, whose fathers are Negroid and any in descent. We are the hidden ones. Cause, cause you, you know what? You know how we the hidden ones? Because no one calls us Israelites. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We ain't walking around. We didn't we didn't start calling ourselves Israelites until we realized who we were. Okay, some that say they're Jews and are not. Believe that. We're going to get that. Okay? Hidden ones. Read on. Verse 4. They have said, come, uh -huh. and let us cut them off from being a nation. Didn't they do that? Mm. That's a biblical prophecy. That happened. They cut They cut us off. They make us think we Africans. They cut us off from our heritage. They're saying they're the people. Okay? Read on. That the name of Israel. In the name of what? Israel. Uh-huh. May be no more in remembrance. No more remembrance. Now you ain't Israelite no more. Now you're an African. Now you're East Indian. I mean, now you are uh, West Indian. Now you're Jamaican. Now you are Hispanic. You are Mexican. You, you know what I'm saying? Now you're Dominican. Because they understand something. Cut us off from our heritage. 
we're not going to act accordingly. Because so is a man think of so as he is. So if I keep knowing that, if I keep thinking that I am a Gentile, I am going to do Gentile things. If I know I'm an Israelite, I'm going to keep commandments. And the faith of Christ is just that simple. Read on. Verse 5. Uh -huh. For they have consulted together uh -huh. with one consent. With one consent because they're all on one accord. All on one accord. Keep these Negroes and Hispanics dumb. Keep them fighting against each other. Make the Negroes and the Hispanics think they're different nations. That's working even in Israel. Because you got some people think, oh, the Hispanics are not really Israelites. We don't want to believe in the chart. You wicked as hell. You want to know why? Because when you read the curses, it also goes for the Hispanics as well as the so-called blacks. So that makes it wicked, but that's a crafty counsel right there. Read on. The tabernacles of Edom. Oh, it start. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> it started with him. Why did it start with him first? Because he's the ringleader. Mm -hmm. He's the one that does. It. He's the one that controls the UN. He controls the UN. Guess what? So-called black man, so-called Hispanic man. What seat do you have in the UN? <laughs> I'll wait. You don't have a seat in the UN. You want to know why? Because of this. Read on. <laughs> The tabernacles of Edom uh -huh. and the Ishmaelites. And the, oh, the Arabs too. Mm -hmm. So brothers in Islam, hey, you better get out that madness. Because the Ishmaelites are not for you either. <laughs> Believe that. Read on. Of Moab. The so-called Chinese man. And the Hagarines. The Hagarines and the more Africans, the Egyptians. Read on. Gabal. Gabal, more Africans. And Ammon. Ammon. Oh, the Japanese. Mm -hmm. Read on. And Amalek. Oh, who? Amalek. You know what Amalek is? I just want to stop right there. I don't even want to go any further. <laughs> because that's why, that's that's the topic of this class right here, y'all. Amalek, for some of y'all don't know, because see, Edom got tribes too. Same way we got 12 tribes. Every nation have tribes. Edom which is a so-called modern white man, straight up. Amalek is that chief tribe, which are the so-called Jews today. It's saying Amalek because you got to look at Amalek. Let's look at the Rothschilds, for example. They would be considered, they would be in this elite right here mm. because they control currency. Right. They control the Federal Reserve and they fund wars. So when you look at that right there, brothers and sisters, that's that, you know, that's crafty counsel because they control everything. I told a brother the other day, I said, let me tell you something, man. I said, you keep on thinking we got all this power. We have no power at all. We're not ruling anything. They control the monetary system. Their face is on that money, okay? You could be a $100 million slave. I say it, I always constantly say it. You could be a $100 million slave. This man has the power to shut down the currency. And so you know what? We're going back to, to gold and bartering. You don't have that power. All you have the power to do is make money. That's it. He can cut that off anytime he wants to. Right. So what we're fighting for, brothers and sisters, is complete rulership with Christ. That's right. Supreme rulership with Christ. And everything will be righteous. Because once you have a righteous government, the Most High, the Christ, and the Israelites in that order, Okay, and remember that. Okay, was that it, brother? That's all I wanted really on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all I really wanted. One thing y'all understand, y'all have to understand something, brothers and sisters, is this. Okay, when we came over in cargo slave ships, okay, we already see everything's done by rhyme and reason. Okay, and we always have to constantly do this. I have to do this, especially for the new people. Okay. Go to Romans chapter 8 and verse 20, verse 8 and 16 for a second. And give me um, St. John chapter 1426. Mm -hmm. We have to show something. This is one thing you have to keep in mind, brothers and sisters. Um, it's very imperative that you know who you are. Now, the crafty council works by taking slavery out of the textbooks. Because they're doing it in these schools today, okay? They're taking the slavery and they're trying to tell you that that never happened. 
They're also trying to tell you that we were indentured servants. Remember when we went to Jamestown that time? We went to Jamestown. The guy that was a, the guy that was that was guiding the so-called guide, he kept trying to say that we were indentured servants. Indentured service means you were um you had an agreement, you had a contract. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you work for a certain amount of time, right? And you got your freedom, right? Did that ever? Have, how do you have a contract and got chains on? That only makes sense. That goes against all common logic. Okay. All right. Now let's go to the book of Romans eight and sixteen and give me Saint John um fourteen twenty six. Okay. The book of Romans chapter eight and verse sixteen. Okay. The Spirit itself bears witness uh -huh. with our spirit mm -hmm. that we are the children of God. Now, the spirit, what spirit is it talking about? Because we went through this before, and I have to touch it again so people can understand something. So whenever someone ever asks you that question, brother, it says, how do you know you're an Israelite? Okay, and we have to prove that point because remember something, we're going to deal with trotting, out, trotting down to the Gentiles, Jerusalem, and it's not talking about just the, just the land either, the people. We're trotting down, aren't we? You better believe that. We're trotting down to the, to the highest power. We? Give me uh, St. John 14, 26. What spirit is it talking about? The book of St. John, chapter 14 and verse 26. Uh -huh. But the Comforter, uh -huh. which is the Holy Ghost, okay. whom the Father will send in my name. Then the Father is sending. He's speaking, he's speaking of himself in third person. He said, whom the Father will send in my name. Right? Read on. He shall teach you all things. The Spirit of Christ is going to teach us all things. Was that it? No, sir. Mm -hmm. And bring all things to your remembrance. Now, what things should come to your remembrance is what? Is Romans 8, 16, the Spirit itself bear witness who we are. And that's important, brothers and sisters, because at some point in time, you got to ask yourself a question, what is my purpose? Mm -hmm. Who am I? You know, how am I supposed to walk? Okay, seriously, you got to ask yourself that question. Who am I? Because we get wrapped up in philosophy as a man all day. Even in Israel, you got brothers in different doctrines. Okay, <laughs> you know we're aliens and all kinds of nonsense. Okay, but the Bible stabilizes you because a lot of people are not stable. Okay, even in His truth. Okay, He said He should teach you all things, right, and bring all things to remembrance, right? Now, what's what's in our remembrance? This well, let's deal with some things right quick. Let's go to Leviticus chapter twenty-six, and I want you to go. To um go to go to verse 33 for a second. And I want you to drop down. The book of Leviticus, mm -hmm. chapter 26, and verse 33. Okay. And I will scatter you among the heathen. Uh-huh. And will draw out a sword after you. Let me ask you a question. Did the so-called Jews go through this? No. Nah. What, what point in time did they get scattered among the heathen? <laughs> I mean, seriously, what, what point in time did they get scattered among the heathen? When? Because I'll wait, okay? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. Hold that, hold that. I'm, we're going to prove a point. Because here we go again. You have to understand something. How do you know? They, they are the true Jews mm -hmm. or the true Israelites, I want to say, because they, they call themselves Israeli. <laughs> Keep that in mind. We're gonna deal with see, we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna deal with some scholarship right quick. Okay. And we're gonna show you what the scholars know, what you don't know. Okay? We're gonna deal with some media references in a, in a second, okay? To prove some points, brothers and sisters. Now, who has it? The book of Deuteronomy, mm -hmm. chapter 28 and verse 64. Okay. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. You see how the Bible precept must be upon precept. It don't contradict itself. So Deuteronomy said the same thing that Leviticus chapter 26 verse 33 says. What did he say again, brother? The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 64. Okay. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Okay. From the one end of the earth. Did that happen? From what? From the eastern hemisphere? And to the Western Hemisphere, and also all over the earth, too, brothers and sisters, who were scattered on the four corners of the earth. Read on. Even unto the other. Mm -hmm. And there thou shalt serve other gods. Uh -huh. 
which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Now we serve white man Jesus. You know, our people, our people serve other gods. So it says either wood and stone, even wood and stone, even wood and stone, indeed wood and stone. So when did these <laughs> white Jews mm -hmm. get scattered through the earth and were forced <laughs> to keep Christianity in Islam? Exactly. That's the point. That's why they was pulled to show where you see so you have to prove all things, right? At what point in history did that ever happen to them? Go back to Leviticus 26 to 53, brother. So they, they scattered themselves. <laughs> right, they scattered themselves down. And then they went around killing themselves. Right, right, right. Telling right. themselves to accept Christianity. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right. Keep going, go, go ahead, brother. 26 to 33. Yeah, you're 26 to 33. And then I want you to jump all the way down to, um. I want you to jump down to 37. So verse 33. Mm-hmm. And your land shall be desolate, mm -hmm. and your cities waste. Didn't that happen in 70 AD? Mm -hmm. We're going to touch that too. Your land should be desolate. Our land was desolate because after 70 AD, we're going to prove a point, okay, because we have to show that happened in history. Mm -hmm. Tight, huh? What well, verse you want me to jump to? Jump down to verse 37 now. Okay. The book of Leviticus, chapter 26, and verse 37. Uh huh. And they shall fall one upon another, uh -huh. as it were before a sword, uh -huh. when none pursue. Uh -huh. And ye shall have no power <laughs> to stand before yeah. your enemy. Mm -hmm. Now, why did I pull that? I pulled that because don't they have a military? Mm -hmm. See, if the true Israelites were in the land today, so they say they are, why do they have their own military? They got nukes too. And they have a military to fight against their enemies, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. But the true biblical Israelites don't have no power to stand before our enemies. So that's a lie. So that's showing you we don't have a military. Something happened to us, yo, we done. Okay? Something happened to us, we gonna march. <laughs> That's fine. I mean, and protest. It says you should have no power to stand before your enemies. Right. They got nukes. <laughs> you see that point? You see, see, the Bible says prove all things. Look at look at everything spiritual, brothers and sisters. Right. They, we have no power. It says you should have no power to stand before your enemy. When have we ever had power to stand before our enemies? We don't. Okay, because we're a nation within a nation. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when we are keep trying we keep trying to figure things out and wonder why we constantly keep going through this you have to ask yourself a question when when did it start with being trodden down the gentiles when did it start trodden down of the gentiles give me the book of saint luke Ooh. chapter 21 and verse 20. let's go let's get right to what christ let's go right to christ we're gonna go. We have to filter everything through Christ, right? Right. Let's find out what the Messiah said about what we're just talking about. I don't want to just spear off things. I want to prove things according to the Holy Bible. So the Book of Saint Luke, chapter twenty-one and verse twenty. And then I'm okay. Then I'm okay. The Book of Luke, mm -hmm. chapter twenty-one mm -hmm. and verse twenty. Okay. And when you shall see Jerusalem. Come past with arms. Now understand something, brothers and sisters. This is this is history right here. Christ is saying something before it ever happened. Okay, that's what makes this Bible the true book, because the Messiah is saying something to our people. He's giving us a fair warning. <laughs> okay, he's letting you know something. Read on. And when you shall see Jerusalem come past with arms, okay, then know. That the desolation thereof is not. Didn't we just read in Leviticus 26 and 33 that your land should be desolate mm -hmm. and your cities waste? Mm -hmm. What does it say again? What does it say? He said, No, what does Christ say? Then let them oh know the desolation. And when ye shall see Jerusalem come past with army. Uh -huh. Then know that the desolation thereof is not is near. That's a sign. Christ said, when you see the Roman, when you see the Romans coming, stuff is gonna happen. Right. It was there's no doubt it's the Romans, mm -hmm. it's Roman occupation. Exactly. 
That's history right And there. they had a fort there. Mm -hmm. All right, verse 21. Uh-huh, keep going. Then let them which are in Judea uh -huh. flee to the mountains. See, when it says flee to the mountains, brothers and sisters, it's talking about some parts of Africa, scattered western banks, eastern part, even some of us fled to Europe. Okay, mm -hmm. so we flee those different parts. Okay, but it's saying flee to the mountains, right? Mm -hmm. Read on. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out. Stop right there. Go to the but we want Babylon 10 book 2. We want to show something, y'all. You have to chew the um meat and spit the bones out. Now there's a media reference to prove a point. This is something that even the scholars know, and not just not just in this book here, but we have is other scholarship points that we're gonna bring out too. Mm -hmm. That a lot of them know who the true Israelites are. Now I'm using this point to prove a point about Titus and Vespasian. Okay, mm -hmm. the Roman, uh, the Roman generals that came in and sacked Jerusalem, trodden down, trodden Ju Jerusalem down, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Trod Jerusalem, trodden down the Gentiles, right? Go ahead, brother. The Book of Babylon, the Ten Book Two, mm -hmm. page eighty-four. Right. In the year sixty-five A.D., the Roman armies under General Pompey captured Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. In 70 AD, General Vespasian mm -hmm. and his son Titus mm -hmm. put an end to the Jewish state. He put an end to the Jewish state, right? Because understand something, like Christ was telling us, he letting us know, pre-70 AD, this is what's going to happen to your people, mm -hmm. right? Read on. With great slaughter. Uh-huh. During the period of the military governor mm -hmm. of the Palestine. Mm -hmm. Many outrages and atrocities were committed against the residue of the people right during the period from pompey to julius mm -hmm. it, it has been estimated right that over one million jews mm -hmm. fled into africa mm -hmm. fleeing roman persecution mm -hmm. and slavery mm -hmm. and the slave markets were full of black jewish slaves black jewish slaves so at what point did the so-called white man go into slavery and then he put a scripture Mm -hmm. He pulled a scripture. Right. Right. <laughs> Deuteronomy 2864, which he just pulled. Right. Right. And he pulled it, didn't he? Mm -hmm. So why is he pulling that? Because he knows. Okay? Because let's go to Benjamin Tudela. Okay? Well, just since that's talking about mm -hmm. Titus and Vespasian, mm -hmm. just want to bring out this little point. Now, does let them know what book, because this is actual true media reference, brothers mm -hmm. and sisters. This is the Benjamin the itinerary yeah. of Benjamin Tudela. Okay. And, and this is page 28, mm -hmm. the middle of the first paragraph. Right. And it reads The Jews of Rome told me that every year upon the ninth of a bill, mm -hmm. they found the columns exuding moisture like water. Mm -hmm. There is also the cave where Titus. <laughs> The son of Aspasia uh -huh. stored the temple vessels mm -hmm. which he bought from Jerusalem. Now you have the type, you have the arch of Titus. You have all these different things. That's in Rome. Okay. All those different things that were taken, those artifacts was taken from Jerusalem when they sacked Jerusalem in 70 AD, right? Right. Read on. Will you have you have more? That, that's all I want to bring out. But mm -hmm. if and further above it, mm -hmm. it tells you. Mm -hmm. About the catacombs mm -hmm. and the other artifacts that they took right from Jerusalem, they stole our artifacts. And the catacombs have dark faces on it too. See, a lot of that stuff y'all don't know because they're not going to tell you that, okay? And you ain't gonna get this at your Sunday church either, okay? Mm -hmm. They too busy hooting and hollering right now. Somebody they, they didn't caught the Holy Ghost, yeah, they caught the Holy like, Ghost. Like, 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 like a dog on cold but not realizing that your people are suffering because they don't know nothing. You got, you're in the church, you're not teaching them nothing. Well, you're gonna get the scholarship here, best believe that. Now, when we go down, understand something. We, we, I'm not gonna be too long with this. I just gonna keep it honest. You know I mean, keep it, you know, within the context. Now, go back to Luke 21. Luke, what was that verse? It was Luke 21, verse 21. Right the bottom of, of that verse mm -hmm. and it mm -hmm. says mm -hmm. and let not them that are in the countries 
enter there into. And why it says that because we have to come to Jerusalem for feasts, mm. whether it's Passover, whether it's the Feast of the First Fruits, okay? Those are the feasts. We have three major feasts. We go to a Feast of Tabernacles. We have to come back to Jerusalem three times a year at that time. So Christ letting it, letting it be known, don't, you can't go back. <laughs> you can't back. go back. You understand? Because you're exiled now. And we're still exiled. Because that's why we keep trying to tell y'all. Them so-called Jews over there, those aren't the real Jews. And they know, even some of their own people know that. We're going to touch on that too. Christ is saying, don't go back. Yeah. You have to hearken unto his words. Since oh, I said <laughs> that, since I said that, I want to prove what I just said right. Mm -hmm. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 16, bro. I don't want right, I don't right, want right. I don't, I don't want to leave no stone unturned because I made a statement. I want to prove all things. 15. Give me 16, 16. Deuteronomy, I want to prove a point. I made a statement about how we have to come back to Jerusalem right. three times a year. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna prove a point because Christ is telling you because why is Christ saying Christ don't come back? Mm -hmm. Because of this right here, brothers and sisters. That's what Moses said by the way where I spake unto thee. Right. <laughs> thou shalt see it no thou more. Thou shalt don't see it no more again, man. You ain't gonna see your homeland again until when Christ come back and establish the kingdom on earth. Now, why did Christ say don't don't come back? It's because of this. Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 16, bro. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 16, mm -hmm. and verse 16. Okay. Three times three, in a year. Three times in a year, right? Read on. Shall all thy males appear before the Lord thy God. Okay. In the place which he shall choose. What's the place he should choose? Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. That's the place he chose, right? Read on. In the feast of unleavened bread. Passover. And in the feast of weeks. The feast of weeks would be what? Uh -huh. Pentecost, uh -huh. right? Why we said peace, feast of weeks? Because you have to count seven weeks mm -hmm. plus add a day. That's why they call it. The Feast of Weeks. Read on. And and the Feast of Tabernacles. The Feast of Tabernacles, which we're closing out today. Mm -hmm. So those are three times. So that's why the Messiah is telling you, don't go back for that, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Don't come back because you know your time is at hand for vengeance. Mm -hmm. Go back to the book of St. Luke, chapter 21 again, brother. Keep on reading with it. All right. So uh -huh. now verse 22. Right. For these be the, the days, days of vengeance. vengeance. Because you didn't want to keep commandments, because you want to follow other gods, because you want to be, you want to do other things. Guess what? These be the days of vengeance. Okay, that's what the Messiah says. Read on. That all things which are written may be fulfilled. All things that are written in Deuteronomy 28, back during that time, Leviticus 26. All these things we just read, Deuteronomy 28 and Leviticus 26, all these things that are written by what? The law of Moses. Mm -hmm. Okay? The law of Moses. Okay. You think, listen, 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 listen. You know what's crazy about all that? Keep reading. I'm going to keep up. Keep reading because we're going to go, go to something in Daniel right quick. Verse 23. Uh -huh. But woe unto them that are with child. Uh -huh. And to them that give suck in uh -huh. those days. Uh-huh. For there shall be great distress in the land. That's what happened because it was great distress in the land. When those when those um those Edomites, and that's who they are, mm -hmm. Romans came onto our land, they defiled our land even during that time by killing our people. Read on. The siege. Exactly. The siege. Shall be great distress in the land uh -huh. and wrath upon this people. You better believe we're still on the wrath today. <laughs> Why did this so-called Jewish man go under wrath from God? Nobody. They 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 can't even lay claim to that. That's why we're gonna go to Daniel in a, in a minute. Matter of fact, give me that. Give me Daniel 9 11 for a second. Verse 24. Uh -huh. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. Oh, yeah, and see, why is, did that ever happen to them? No. Never. Not to the church said they're talking about the Holocaust. We still in the Holocaust right now. Believe that. Because we're still being shot, that we're still being persecuted. Okay. You know what? It's a little known fact, but it's documented. That right. Most of those people died from starvation. Yep. The the uh the enemy enemy armies of Germany they cut off their routes, right? So they had no way of getting food and stuff. So you know they're gonna eat first, right? So they starved a bunch of them, right? But they want you to believe that they got gas. And not only that, and not only that, brothers and sisters, the so-called Jews over there, they were ruling. They they they, they had economic clout over there. Mm -hmm. 
So when Hitler did what he did to him, he was trying to preserve Germany because he because they had all the money. So that's why he did what he did. But even 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 Hitler, as crazy as he is, right. knew that they weren't the real Jews. Right. He knew that. Okay. So <laughs> even if let's say that was them being killed with the sword, right. them falling with the sword. So from that point, they should have went into a great captivity right. and never happened. How how they <laughs> how they get over here? They voluntarily came over here. Right. I'm gonna read <laughs> Keep reading, brother. The book of Luke, chapter 21 and verse 24. Okay. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. That happened to us because we're still falling by the hand of the sword right now. Mm -hmm. In the hand of police brutality. Our people are still being shot down the streets. Okay, read on. And shall be led away captive. Oh, when did that ever happen to them? Doesn't that coincide with Deuteronomy and uh, Leviticus? Mm -hmm. they, should, they should be done what? What should, what should happen? And they shall be led away captive. They should be led away captive. Read on to into what? Into all nations. And to where? Into all nations. When did that ever happen to them? When? I'll wait. When? Show me documentation when so called Jews are ever led away captive into all nations. It never happened. They know that too. That's why we're gonna pull some more scholarship on their own people who tells them <laughs> <laughs> who so who knows the truth. And guess what? You know what's crazy about it? They want to kill those jokers. Right. They want to kill them. And now, if it was a lie, if it was not the truth, why you want to kill them? They kill one of them. They kill one of them. This one. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna read the book right quick. Go ahead, bro. And, and Jerusalem shall be trodden down uh -huh. of the Gentiles uh -huh. until the times of the Gentiles be, be fulfilled. fulfilled. <laughs> when that ever happen? So in other words, nobody's going to be in that land. Exactly. That the Israelites are not going to be in that land. Because we're exiled. Because if you're the real Jews, you shouldn't even be on the land. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm see, it's, see, that's why you have to read the Bible Precept must be upon precept to gain understanding. Another thing, too, is the words of mm -hmm. Christ. Mm -hmm. If you believe in Christ, right? Those and they don't, believe. and they don't believe in Christ. See, that's what y'all understand. Those so-called Jews over there, yeah, and you can ask, and you can ask the question. They don't believe in Christ mm -hmm. because Christ says something about them. Right. See, Christ says something about them, so they're not gonna they're not gonna believe in Christ because Christ because when Christ comes back, it's gonna be all hell gonna break loose. Mm. You know, the people that's over there in that land today, they have to get their eviction papers. Mm. Okay, see, they may be on the land, but we're from the main. <laughs> understand? Understand that? <laughs> okay, believe that? Okay, and I just had to say it that way because we are. And you know, and all jokes aside, that's why we in turmoil today, brothers and sisters, because they're still doing that nonsense, mm. and that's what we have to start doing. Now, was that it on that? Yeah, that was. It. Yeah, okay, now, 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 let's go to the book of um, Leviticus, chapter thirty-six. I mean, not Leviticus. Excuse me, Ezekiel thirty-six and five. Mm -hmm. And I want you to pull that the thirteenth on that. What was that about? Yeah, what page? Hey, six. You want you want fifty nine first. Remember, thirty six five. Yeah, I want I want Ezekiel thirty six and five. Okay, okay. We had to prove some points, y'all. See, this is prophecies right here. Okay, these are prophecies, and this is in Ezekiel thirty six and five. The book of Ezekiel, chapter thirty six and verse five. Uh huh. Therefore. Thus said the Lord God. Right. Surely in my fire of my jealousy uh -huh. have I spoken against the residue of the heathen. Now the residue of the heathen, right? Because remember, Christ says that Jerusalem should be trying out of the Gentiles. Right? Yep. Right? He gets the residue of the heathen, right? Mm -hmm. Read. And against all our doom. Stop right there. Stop right there. He didn't say some. What did he say? Against all Idumia. If y'all don't know, Idumia is Greek for Edom. So the Most High is angry with the whole nation of Edom. Now let's pull. Let's pull out 
let's pull out the um tell them what let's let's find what book is what, what book is that right there this book is the iron curtain over america okay by john b mm -hmm. and hold on one second hold, hold on one second brother excuse me can someone please please mute your mic please because we can hear all kinds of commotion all right please mute your mic mute your mic please okay thank you all right now let's go ahead and proceed bro okay mm -hmm. so the iron curtain over america uh-huh and this is chapter two page 15 mm -hmm. russia and the Khazars. oh the Khazars. <laughs> Oh, do your research on that, brothers and sisters. Because you know, because you have to understand some of the Khazars. They're dealing with a particular people, right? Would you, would you say Idumians? Uh -huh. That's another yeah. name, right? We got the Franks, <laughs> the Idumians. They, this man called himself everything, right? The Druzies. Right. Dru yeah, yeah. <laughs> to the high. See, that's how, you have, that's how they play with words on people, right? So Idumia, right? We, we wear it in Ezekiel 36 and 5. Against, he said, against all Idumia. And there's a reason why. Go ahead, bro. All right, it's so the second paragraph. Mm -hmm. In the later years of the dimly recorded first millennium of the Christian era, <laughs> Slavic people mm -hmm. of several kindred, kindred tribes mm -hmm. occupied the land which became known later as the north central portion of European Russia. Mm. South of them, between the Don and Volga rivers, mm -hmm and north of the lofty Caucasus Mountains. Oh, so wait a minute. Are you sure we got that right? Mm -hmm. So where do you get the word Caucasian from? From the lofty. From the lofty Caucasus Mountains. Caucasus Mountains. Man, it was pleasant to him. It was that? pleasant to him, right? <laughs> now listen, listen, listen. That, that's documented. We ain't making this up now. OK? We ain't making this up. Oh, listen, listen, listen. All truth, all jokes aside. Right. This is the truth, though. True. Right? And look, and y'all can say what y'all want. This ain't no hate campaign. It's the truth. It says the Caucasus Mountains. You get the term Caucasian from Caucasus Mountains, man. Are we, I making, can, we can making this up? Man, I can see them now. Yeah, Bob, I got a beautiful view from my kids. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. That's why I like skyscrapers. Because it reminds them of the mountains. Seriously. Man. They love mountain climbing. We ain't making this up. For real. Seriously. You don't see you, you don't see no dog on Jake's going up no dog on mountains, man. I don't even like heights. Mm -mm. Right. Most get they, that. Most Jake's afraid of heights. Exactly. I ain't getting up on no mountain. Nah, but that's what they like though. Read on, bro. Live uh, north of the lofty Caucasus Mountains mm -hmm. lived a people known to history as Khazars. The Khazars, mm -hmm. right? Known in history. And you can do your research on this the Khazar Empire. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got 70, 70, let me see, it was 740 AD. Okay, yeah, pretty much. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna hit that name. Pretty much, yeah. So mm -hmm. the next page, top paragraph. Mm -hmm. In the eighth or ninth century of our era, mm -hmm. a Kagan, roughly equivalent to tribal chief or primitive king of the Khazars, wanted a religion for his pagan people. Sounds familiar? Mm -hmm. Paganism, right? Mm -hmm. Sound like Christianity to me. Partly, mm -hmm. partly, perhaps because of incipient tension between Christians and the adherents of the new Mohammedan faith. Oh, <laughs> Islam! Oh, Islam too, right? Then where does Islam come from? They try to get things from Jew from being Jews, right? Well, you notice it said new, new, new Mohammedan faith. New. That's what we kept trying to tell you, brothers. Islam is new, right? Okay. Islam, what came in what the sixth century? Yeah. Okay, sixth century, right? Mm -hmm. They came in six so so they they're new. So a lot of you brothers thinking y'all got this top knowledge, y'all stuff is new. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So uh -huh. he adopted a form of the Jewish religion. Oh, he did what? Adopted a form of the Jewish religion. Oh, Jewish. So wait a minute. So you're telling me now. They took the man Judah mm -hmm. and made a religion out of him. Right. Not only 
you make sense. Right. They took 12 tribes and made it one. One. That's wicked as hell, y'all. That's wicked. Okay? You took our customs, our heritage now, stole it from us, turned us into Gentiles, and called yourself the people. Right. That's wicked. Keep reading, bro. Let's let's find out. Let's do let's let's do a more scholarship here. Oh, how great we had to be. Exactly. Let's do a more scholarship. Let's hear what the scholars have to say about this. And a date generally placed mm -hmm. at 741 AD. Exactly. I was close. I was a year old. 741 what? AD? AD. Okay, I thought I had a little go ahead, read. But uh -huh. believed, but believed by Radansky to be as late as 865. Okay. So this chieftain, probably Bulan, called upon the representative, representatives of Judaism, mm -hmm. Christianity, mm -hmm. and Muhammadism mm -hmm. to expound their doctrine before him. Oh. This discussion <laughs> convinced him that Crafty the Jewish council, though, right? Mm -hmm. We go back to we go back to um, Psalms eight three. We're not, we're not going to do that, but it's showing you Crafty council. They're counseling. Christians, mm. Muhammadism, which is Islam, and it's the same in the ultimate three dominant religions today. Mm -hmm. Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. And they're all similar. And they're all similar, exactly. Yeah. They all come from Zoroastrianism. You're dealing with Zoroastrianism, brothers and sisters. Okay? Zoroastrianism. Read on. This discussion convinced him that the Jewish faith was the most preferable. Oh. And he decided to embrace it. Thereupon, he and about four thousand Khazars were circumcised. Oh, <laughs> now, so now, <laughs> now they're taking our identity, they're taking our customs. Then they want to be circumcised. They want to be part of the Abraham covenant. Probably, right. probably the Abraham covenant, right? Read on. Yeah, A yeah. successor of Bulan, who bore the Hebrew name of Obadiah. Oh, took took our Hebrew names too. Why would he take that? Why would he take Obadiah? Hey, like because Obadiah speaks against you. <laughs> <laughs> he must ain't read that. He must ain't read that, right? <laughs> read on. Was the first to make serious efforts to further the Jewish religion. See, the Jewish. See, Jewish, Jewish. only means pertaining to a Jew mm -hmm. in the religion. See, what we're in, brothers and sisters, is not a religion. Right. You see, it's man-made stuff. They, they add to things. Okay. That's what they do. They take our customs mm -hmm. and add man-made paganism to it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Was that, was that it, brother? Was that for now? Well, yeah, just okay. that's it out of this book. But go, now, now, let's go to the, thir the 13th tribe. Yeah. Now, now go in uh -huh. Arthur Kessler's 13th tribe. Mm -hmm. This the dude right here. They wanted to kill this cat. Mm -hmm. They did. They killed him, right? Yeah. Ain't that something? All right, this is page mm -hmm. 59. Mm-hmm. And it's the second paragraph, middle of the second paragraph. Now, we still in that. Now, mind you, brothers and sisters, we're not getting off topic. Mm -hmm. We're still in Ezekiel 36 and 5. Mm -hmm. uh, we're adding scholarship to this to prove a point in this prophecy right here. I'm using a media reference. So it's 13 tribe, okay, but Arthur, yeah, Arthur, Kessler. Arthur Kessler, right? Okay, go uh, ahead, brother. You said page. You want to go to page, page 59? 59. Yeah. Okay, all right. Watch this. Mm -hmm. In reality, mm -hmm. the conversion to Judaism oh. required an act of genius. <laughs> Yet, both the Arab and Hebrew sources on the history of conversion, however varied in detail, point to a line of reasoning as indicated above. Mm -hmm. But it's not. You got two different sources that say that they are converts. Right. Stop right there, bro. Let's go to Second Maccabees, chapter nine and verse thirteen. I want you to go to that. Um, no, no, I'll go to that right now. Go. Would you just say conversion, right? Mm -hmm. Let's find out how they was converted in the Bible. So, because I, I, I want to hold Ezekiel thirty-six and five, mm -hmm. proving the point right now. This is this is why you stop Psalm eighty-three. You better believe when you got to Amalek. Exactly. That's why I stopped it. It was strategic when I got the Amalek, right? Now we're going to go to 2 Maccabees, chapter 9, verse 13. We're going to show a conversion because we're going to coincide the, 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 the um, scholarship with the scriptures say. 2 Maccabees, chapter 9, and verse 13. I want you to read all the way to 17 because Antiochus was a real man, okay? And Antiochus did something that coincides with what they're saying here in the 13th tribe, right? Mm -hmm. Antiochus did something. 
brothers and sisters. Antiochus was an Edomite mm -hmm. against all Idumea, mm -hmm. right? Who appointed my land. Mm -hmm. Did that happen? Mm -hmm. Come keep on reading, brother. Let's go to um, let's go to Second Maccabees chapter nine and go to the of verse thirteen and read all the way to seventeen. Mm -hmm. The book of Second Maccabees. Uh -huh. Chapter 9 and verse 13. Okay. This wicked person uh -huh. vowed also unto the Lord. Now, this is Antiochus, for some of y'all who don't know. Antiochus was wicked. He was this, what you call a so-called white man. Okay. And he basically took the he took the land of the Greeks and called himself a Macedonian. And basically what he did was now he got hit with all these diseases, incurable diseases by the most high, because he was very prideful and he wanted to kill his people, which uh, which are us. Okay, read on. Who now no more would have mercy upon him, uh -huh. saying thus, uh -huh. that the holy city to the which he was going in haste to lay it even with the ground and to make it a common burying place, he would set at liberty. See, now <laughs> here's the thing. He was so prideful. Right. Even back then, the time of the Greeks, they want to trot him down Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And make Ju make Jerusalem a common burying place for our forefathers. Mm. Spoke with much pride. Mm. What the Most High do to his behind? Read on. And as touching the Jews, uh -huh. whom he judged not worthy so much as to be buried. Oh, same way that they, they got so much hatred for us. You Negroes, we hate you so much. We're gonna let the fowls of the air eat you up. Leave you in the streets. Leave you in the streets night. all night. You think that spirit, that spirit still exists today? Keep reading. But to be cast out with their children, uh -huh. to be devoured of the fowl. And our children. They don't give a they don't care. Throw, throw their children out there too. That's how much hatred they have for us. Read on. And wild beasts, uh -huh. he would make them all equal to the citizens of I think of Athens. Of Athens. So now what he's doing now, because he's ruling, because he's getting beat down by the most high. Now we're gonna make you equal citizens now. Right. Same way they want to do to us in America. Right. Oh, now we're going to make you equal citizens with different policies now. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, read on. Verse 16. Uh -huh. And the holy temple, which before he had spoiled, he would garnish with God, God, excuse me, goodly gifts. Because he destroyed the temple. The same way the Romans did. Mm -hmm. Same people now. Always destroy, always trod in Jerusalem down. Mm -hmm. The Romans did it, and the Greeks did it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's why we celebrate the Feast of Dedication. Believe that. Read on. And restore all the holy vessels with many more. Uh -huh. And out of his own revenue, uh -huh. defray and charges belonging to the sacrifices. Mm -hmm. Verse 17. Right. Yea, and that also he would become a Jew. What? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Kai, hold on, hold on, hold on. Say that one more time. I'll make because see the Bible show you something. <laughs> This is why they don't want y'all reading the Apocrypha, y'all. Because it's showing you how they became Jews and how we became Gentiles. Mm -hmm. You understand? What does it say? What is he trying to do? The book of 2 Maccabees, <laughs> chapter 9 and verse 17. Uh -huh. Yea, and that also he would become a Jew himself and go through all the world uh -huh. that was inhabited uh -huh. and declare the power of God. <laughs> Aren't they doing that today? Go back, brother. Go back to what? Because see, now you convert into Judaism. Now they want to adopt our customs and call itself a Jew. You know, it, it brings a scripture to mind. Uh huh. The thing that has been. Uh huh. Is that what shall, shall be. be? You best believe it. You even Esau knows history repeats <laughs> itself. You better believe it. You right. best believe it. Let's go back. Let's go back to scholarship now. I just wanted to bring that point out to show the conversion. You see, that's why that's why Herod, Herod come through this right, right. here, y'all. Mm -hmm. Herod was a convert. Believe that. Okay. So speaking of conversion, I'm gonna jump to page 63. Yeah, go ahead and jump to verse 63. That's why I want you to hit anyway. 63, and then we'll go to 67 after that. Okay. Yeah. The reason for the conversion to Judaism mm -hmm. of the king of the Khazar, uh -huh. who had previously been a pagan, is as follows. Uh-huh. He adopted Christianity. Oh, oh, oh. Then he recognized this falsehood. <laughs> whoa, 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 wait, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. That, that's written, right? He recognized what again? What he recognized? Hold on, let's... 
Let me start again. Start again, brother. The second, much more detailed account huh? is an Al Bakri's book of kingdoms and roads uh -huh. written in the 11th century. In the 11th century, okay. The reason for the conversion to Judaism uh -huh. of the king of the Gaia, uh -huh. uh -huh. who had previously been a pagan, is as follows. Uh -huh. He adopted Christianity. Oh. Then he recognized its falsehood and discussed the matter, which greatly worried him, <laughs> with one of his high officials. Uh -huh. The latter said to him, O oh, king, those in possession of sacred scriptures fall into three groups. Summon them and ask them to state their case. Then follow with the one who is in possession of the truth. Of the truth. Yeah. Okay. So he decided to be a Jew. Convert to a Jew, Jew. Right? Now let's go to verse 67. Let's go, let's go to chapter. Let's go to on page 67 now. Okay. It starts the last chapter in on page 66. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Joseph's narrative starts mm -hmm. with a eulogy of his ancestor, right. King Bulan, uh -huh. a great conqueror and a wise man who drove out the sorcerers and idolaters from his land. Mm -hmm. Subsequently, an angel <laughs> appeared to King Bulan <laughs> in his reign. <laughs> right. Sound like Muhammad. Sound like Muhammad, right? Exactly. Gabriel gave him. Do it with, with the Quran, so it's the same thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> keep keep yeah, going. Yeah, he, he got a covenant with God. <laughs> right, right. The most I've been doing with Israel all this time. Right. All of a sudden, now he's going to switch up and just start dealing with the Ishmaelites. So in the 600s, he's going to make a deal with the Ishmaelites. <laughs> right. And then in the 700s, he's going to make a deal with, with the Kazars. With, with the Kazars. Yeah, with the Kazars. Subsequently, mm -hmm. an angel appeared to King Bulan mm -hmm. in his dreams, uh -huh. exhorting him to worship the only true God uh -huh. and promising that in exchange, he would bless and multiply Bulan's offspring <laughs> and deliver his enemies into his hands and make his kingdom last to the end of the world. Mm -hmm. This, of <laughs> course, is inspired by the story of the covenant in Genesis. It implies the Khazars, too, claimed the status of a chosen race who made their own covenant with the Lord, even though they were not descended from Abraham's seed. They were not descended from Abraham's seed. They made their own covenant with the Most High, the invention of the Jewish people. They invented themselves. See, this is the problem, brothers and sisters. Now, this man here is a so, was a so-called Jew, correct me if I'm wrong? Mm -hmm. So he knows. Mm -hmm. that, why do you think they killed the man? They killed this man because this man was revealing the truth. Okay? And that's why when Christ says, you should live the truth, and it sh the truth should make you free. And that's what we have to understand, brothers and sisters. Was that it, brother? Well, I was just thinking the... Mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. The guy that wrote the Iron Curtain of America. Uh huh. He's an Edomite too. Right. He was a he was a general. Uh huh. In the army. Right. So he had you know he could get in get to he got access like to that. information that a lot of people can't get their hands on. Go back to Ezekiel thirty six and five, bro. Okay. Because I'm finished. I'm that. That's why we pulled all this to sum this up right here. Yeah. Pull some. Yeah. Matter of fact, do that now. I was gonna wait till after you read the land part. Yeah, you go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, that's good. Cause then you are gonna pull that one out mm -hmm. of the land. Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead. The book of Ezekiel, mm -hmm. chapter thirty-six and verse five. Right. Therefore, thus said the Lord God. Right. Surely in the fire of my jealousy, the Most High is angry. He's furious because he's this man, the so-called white man now, is taking the holy land, and he's going to defile it. Right. Read on. Have I spoken against the residue of the heathen? Of the heathen, read. And against all I do. He didn't say some. He said all. The whole nation of Edom, this, the most high is upset with him. Is the reason why. Read on. Which have appointed my land. He, wait, 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 wait. He said appointed now. He didn't say it was given to him. Mm -hmm. He appointed during 1948, the Jewish state was created. Mm -hmm. In 1947, it was already paperwork being put, even in America. Mm -hmm. They were using the so-called Jews to go over there to take the land mm -hmm. with the so-called Arabs over there, trying to take it for themselves. 
took the land and appointed it and said it's a Jewish state. Mm -hmm. This is prophecy right here, brothers and sisters. What does it say again, brother? It says, appointed my land, right? Which have appointed my land uh -huh. into their possession. They have done that. They said Israel is theirs, mm -hmm. right? Read on. With the joy of all their heart. Oh, because, oh, this is our land. Oh, we are, this is our land. We, this is what we supposed to have. Mm -hmm. With the joy of their mind. Read on. With despiteful mind. Their despiteful mind because they want to make sure when you go over there, so-called brother, uh, so-called um, black man, they're going to put you in the worst parts. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's why we keep telling y'all, stop trying to go over to Israel and think you're going to live over there. They want to give you a job. They want to get, exactly. Okay? And not and not only that, you have to serve in their military to get mm -hmm. citizenship. A lot of y'all don't even know that. Go, oh, I'm going to go to the homeland. No. The land is desolate. I want to go back when Christ go back. Because <laughs> that's where everything going to be set in order. You going over there right now, brothers and sisters, going to be, it's, be, it's basically detriment, it's, it's a detriment, it's, it's detrimental, excuse me, mm. to you because if you go over there today, you won't have no, you won't have no rights. Okay? Well, it's dangerous too. Yeah. yeah. Christ said not to go back. Right. Right. He said don't go back. Mm -hmm. But if you, I mean, you know, mm -hmm. all it takes is very little research. Mm -hmm. and you'll see they hate black people over there. You better believe it. As a matter of fact, there was a sister over there. Remember, I, I think I sent mm -hmm. you the, um, right. the remember, remember I sent you the Yeah, yeah, they treated her like garbage over there. You know what I'm trying to say? Matter of fact, no, I, I, I don't want to extend it, but fi finish up, finish up. I was, I was gonna I was gonna show the article on that how she showed how it showed how they even referred to her as sex they asked for sexual favors from her and treated her like she was a whore and, you know because when she went over there they was rude to her okay where we at Ezekiel thirty six thirty six and five yeah Ezekiel thirty six and five mm -hmm. okay. go ahead with this spiteful mind mm -hmm. to cast it out for a prey how's it cast out for a prey by telling everybody gonna be a Jew. Mm -hmm. You got daggone Chinese folks. Oh, I'm a Jew. You got Ethiopians. Oh, the Ethiopians tripped me out with that. Oh, we're Ethiopian Jews. How can you be an Ethiopian Jew? It don't even make sense. Because being a Jew, Jew, listen, y'all. It's, it's a nationality. <laughs> how can you be a European Jew? I mean, excuse me, even a European yeah. Jew. Right. I mean, how can you be a Ethiopian Jew, y'all? You can't, because Ethiopia is from Kush. <laughs> okay? <laughs> You can't. <laughs> it ain't gonna work. It's confusion. Yeah, <laughs> Keep going, bro. Was that it? Now let's go to let's go to the scholarship part. What book is that? It is the invention of the land of Israel. Oh, the invention of the land of Israel. From uh mm -hmm. so Salomo Shalomo Shalomo Sands. Shalomo Shalomo Sands. Sands. Right. There we go. Shalomo Sands. And they tried to kill him. They ain't uh <laughs> now, why are they trying to now, now why, they, why are they trying to kill these people, man? Okay, if if, if listen, y'all, if they are the true biblical Israelites, why? Because we ain't trying to kill nobody, right? Why should I mean? Because we know the truth. So if someone brought some out of uh, something about us, all we're gonna do is question with the Bible, <laughs> right? So you gonna bring all your nonsense out to us all you want? We're gonna stick to this. We're just using these these references, these media references to show they're all people telling you. They're not Jews. Right? right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. Shalomo Sand. 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 Okay, okay, go ahead. Uh, page mm -hmm. nine. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Starting at the top of the last right. paragraph. Right. At the time, mm -hmm. I had no way of knowing that Israel would succeed in controlling such a large Palestinian population for decades. That's why you have the Palestinians fighting the so called Israelis today. Because there's a lot of control going on today. It's always been going on. They've been fighting for long for the longest time I can remember. Okay? And even poisoned the earth at. Exactly. Exactly. Kill them. Mm -hmm. Read on. Brief of sovereignty. Mm -hmm. I also could not foresee that for the most part, the country's intellectual elite would accept the process and that its senior historians, my future colleagues, will continue to refer to this population quite readily as heir of the land of Israel. It never dawned on me that Israelis control of the local others. Stop right there. Israeli means citizen of the land. Mm -hmm. Israelite means 
the descendant mm -hmm. of Israel. So when they use the term Israeli, understand that doesn't mean they're true Israelites. They right. know that. Mm -hmm. Read on. Would not be exercised through mechanism of discri discriminarity, mm -hmm. citizenship, citizenship mm -hmm. such as military government mm -hmm. and the Zionist socialist uh, uh, appropriation mm -hmm. and do they do the dization mm -hmm. of land <laughs> and had been the case within the borders of good old pre-1967 Israel, mm -hmm. but rather through the sweeping negation of their freedoms and the exploitation of natural resources mm -hmm. for the sake of pioneering settlers of the Jewish people. Furthermore, I never even considered the possibility <laughs> that Israel would succeed in settling more than half a million people in the newly occupied territories and keeping them fenced off in complex ways from the local population, mm -hmm. who would in turn be denied basic human rights, highlighting the colonial colonial colonialism. Yeah, right, co colonial colonization. Yeah, colonization. There you go. Ethnocentric mm -hmm. of segregation. Mm -hmm. Characters of entire entire national enterprise from the outset. In short, I was wholly unaware I would spend most of my life living next door to a sociopathic and unique regime of military apprehend which which is enlightened world due in part to guilty consciousness mm -hmm. would be forced to compromise and in the absence of any other option to support mm. so basically they were saying when they dropped those half a million jewish people mm -hmm. in our land mm -hmm. that the people you had people that was against it but mm -hmm. they was forced to support it and you have to understand some brothers and sisters it's crafty counsel again. Mm. Okay. Go mm -hmm. back to go see, hit Ezekiel 36 and 5 again to understand, give the full understanding for people who don't know mm. what he said. Yeah, they're opponents of the land, but mm -hmm. basically, mm -hmm. they're doing the same thing they have done mm -hmm. everywhere right. they've ever been. They right. take the land. Psalms 49 11. Right. What you just said, brother. But go back to Ezekiel 36 because what they just did mm. is this prophecy right here. That's why precept must be upon precept. Now go to Ezekiel 36 and 5 again to prove the point. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 36 and verse 5. Okay. Therefore, thus said the Lord God. Okay. Surely in the fire of my jealousy. In the fire of the most high jealousy. Read on. Have I spoken against the residue of the heathen. Of the heathen, the other nations. Read on. And against all Idumia. Against all Idumia, which means what? Edom. Mm -hmm. Amalek. Mm -hmm. The chief tribe of, of Edom. Mm -hmm. Read on. Which have appointed my land they just even their own people show you how it was appointed how they they did what they they, they did it underground mm -hmm. they were underhanded under the zionist zionist movement okay believe that read on have appointed my land into their possession okay with the joy of all of their heart right with the despiteful minds mm -hmm. to cast it out for a prey mm -hmm. they cast it out for a prey like for like i just made a statement they're allowing everybody that want to accept Judaism mm -hmm. to come into Israel. Okay, that's wicked as hell. That's not, that land was never for them. Now go to the book of Psalms, chapter 49 and verse 11, to prove that point. Mm -hmm. The book of Psalms, chapter 49 and verse 11. Okay. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. And that's the pride on them. They believe that. They believe that their, their nation is gonna, going to last forever. They believe that, even in Israel. They believe, oh, this is our land. Even here in America, they believe. They believe that nothing's going to take them down. Okay, read on. And their dwelling places to all generations. To all generations, because understand, so this man thinks generations ahead. Mm -hmm. He thinks hundreds and thousands of years in the future. Everything's been planned out for a reason. Read on. They call their lands after their own names. You see that? They did it with America. It was named after a Roman, after Edomite. Africa was named after who? Leo Scipionis Africanus. Even Israel, they took Israel and named it for themselves. Call themselves, you know, the Jewish. Call themselves Israeli. Okay? They always do that. Take even the term Greek. They took they took their land from the Greeks. I mean, excuse me, they took their land from the um Jephites. The Jephites. Okay, and call themselves Greeks. Okay, this man constantly all these things we're saying, brothers and sisters is the truth 
Okay, but this is the reason why the Jews were black. Give me the book of um Jeremiah 14, too. Some of y'all don't even know that. Why they wear black all the time? Because you're trying to fulfill this right here. You're trying to take your heritage, brothers and sisters. Another thing, too, about these mm -hmm. converts, mm -hmm. they follow the Babylonian Talmud. Exactly. Exactly. So they do some weird stuff. Right. They 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 even add things to their Talmud, right? Okay, you got they having gay pride parades on the Holy Land. And let me say this to y'all too. If the so-called Jews are real Jews, right? Why would they allow that on their land? Should they put them to death? Mm -hmm. Because the first five books of Moses, we read, and uh, matter of fact, go to Leviticus 20, 20 and 13 for a second. Because if you have a gay pride parade, right? And y'all don't believe in Christ. Y'all still, they try to build a temple. Man, it's supposed to be blood everywhere. You better believe that. <laughs> you better believe that. It's supposed to be blood everywhere. They on their own land so they can do judgment. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah, exactly. So you're the land of Israel. Okay. <laughs> well, you ain't doing judgments, y'all. Because y'all ain't got the holy Messiah. Because Christ did what? Gave us grace and mercy, right? Well, we're, going, we're going to, uh, what did you go to? Leviticus 20 and 13. That's what I want. I'm sorry. I get a little bit beside myself on that one. I get so excited. Really <laughs> I get so excited with that one. Okay, Leviticus twenty and thirteen, man. <laughs> the book of Leviticus, chapter twenty and verse thirteen. Uh -huh. If a man also lie with mankind, they had a gay pride parade in Jerusalem, man. Y'all supposed to be the true. Uh, they supposed, right. they supposed to be the true Jews, right? Y'all on the land. That means you governing the land. Mm -hmm. Read on. As he lies with the woman, uh -huh. both of them have committed an abomination. A detestable, hateful thing to the Most High. Read on. They shall surely <laughs> be put to death. Right. Their blood shall be upon them. Their blood shall be upon them now. What book is that? What book is that? Leviticus. Leviticus, right? Mm -hmm. That's in the first five books. Right. Why aren't they doing judgment? Because you don't have Christ, right? They don't believe in Christ. They don't believe in the Messiah, right? They don't believe in Christ. So when you don't have Christ, that means where's your temple at? I mean, they try to, re they try to rebuild a temple, right? They try, to, they try to reenact the desolation of abomination, not realizing when it happens, that's when judgment, supreme judgment falls. Well, you know, mm -hmm. I can't remember what book it's in right now. Uh huh. Where they chopped up the woman, they raped the woman to death. Oh, you're talking about when um, in Judges, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that was done by a bunch of sodomites, All right? Mm -hmm. So you're supposed to wipe them people out from among you, exactly. So every all the other tribes of Israel came against them, went to war against them. Mm -hmm. So if they're allowing that in the land, right? Other Israelis supposed to come to and kill them all up. Right, 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 right. Hey, man, they don't. So I'm just showing you they ain't the true people. Right. But what did it say, brother? The book of Jeremiah, uh -huh. chapter 14 and verse 2. Okay. Judah morning. Judah's in morning. You better believe we're in morning. And give me Genesis 2 and 7, though. 2. Mm -hmm. We're precepting this. This is why the so called Jews were black, right? Just because of this right here. Read on. Judah morning. And the gates there of language. You best believe the gates there the leaders therefore language. Mm -hmm. You better believe that. Okay, that's happening right now. Okay, read on. They are black. What? They are black. Uh huh. Until the ground. So wait a minute. Are those Jews over there black? And we use the term black as a as a term to identify. We know they're not truly black, but this is why they were black. He says black unto what? Unto the ground. Give me Genesis two and seven. The book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 7. Okay. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Okay. And breathed into his nostrils the breath of the life. The breath of life are the commandments. For some of y'all who don't know, Adam had the laws. But the reason why I pulled that, and the reason why we pulled it is because it proved to y'all the so-called Jews were black just based on that right there. Why they always wearing black? Because they're trying to fulfill your, they're trying to fulfill your heritage. They say you are black now, you wear black. Right, right, <laughs> right, right, right. But right. It just shows you how people mm -hmm. you don't know and you don't read. Mm -hmm. 
they can pull that and just give me Acts 13 and 1 to prove how the, true <laughs> Jews, how the true Jews and give me Benjamin Tudela too about how they look because yeah. y'all thinking we're making stuff up y'all thinking this ain't can that ain't gonna come up blacks again you want to hit Acts? Yeah, Acts 13 and 1 give me the Benjamin uh it, back to uh, uh, itinerary of Benjamin to devil to prove and this man right here witnessed this he's an Israelite by the way mm -hmm. you want first give me Acts 13 first yeah, I gotta find it. the book of Acts chapter 13 and verse 1 mm -hmm. now there was excuse me now there was in the church that was at Antioch mm -hmm. certain prophets and teachers mm -hmm. as Barnabas and I'm Simeon I'm gonna, I'm gonna that was called nigger. That's called what? Nigger. Sounds familiar, right? They call us niggers. Niggers. Okay? They call us that, don't they? Right? They call us that. They don't have no problem. And it's a shame because our brothers and sisters call itself that. Okay, you got it, brother? So they call we so so nigger only means black in the in the Latin. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's why I want to clear that up with y'all. It's a derogatory term, but remember. During that time in Rome, they would call us nigger then. And the, and the disciples were called nigger. Mm -hmm. Then you know the disciples were dark skinned men. We, so, so let's let's find out, let's support that. Okay? With the scholar, with the scholars know how the true biblical Israelites looked. And give me the book of Acts, chapter 21, verse 37, too. We're gonna deal with Paul. How Paul looked. They love to make these movies about Paul. Okay. All right. This is the book, The Itinerary of Benjamin of Tudela, uh -huh. page 70. And at the bottom, mm -hmm. it says, such are their superstitious practices. And throughout the island, mm -hmm. including all the towns there, live several thousand Israelites. Mm -hmm. The inhabitants are all black. Oh, oh what? Are all black. Uh -huh. And the Jews also. <laughs> <laughs> The latter are good and benevolent. Uh -huh. They know the law of Moses and the prophets. And to a small extent, the Talmud and Halakha. So understand something, brothers and sisters. Just like in Book of Acts, it said that we were called nigger. Mm -hmm. That's Latin for black. Okay? You think that's a coincidence? Let's find out about beloved Paul, what beloved Paul looked like. Because y'all want to run to Paul, right? Let's find out how Paul looked. The book of Acts, chapter 21 and verse 37. And 38, and read all the way down. They're doing 27, uh, 37 and 38. Okay. Mm -hmm. And as Paul was to be led into the council, uh -huh. he said unto the chief captain, Right. May I speak unto thee? Right. Who said, Canst thou speak Greek? Oh, because see, remember, Paul can speak three different languages. So we ask a question. Can Paul speak Greek? Because Paul can speak the Greek. Why? Because of the Greek Greek captivity. Paul can speak the um the Latin because he was in Rome. And, and last but not least, Paul can speak the Hebrew because he was a Hebrew of the Hebrews. Okay, he grew up, he's, he was an Israelite. And we're gonna prove that point too. He is an Israelite. The Israelites are dark skinned, they were dark skinned people at that particular time, too. We also have different shades of Israelites today. What you about to pull up, bro? You done? I'm done. All right, this is the Jews among the Greeks and Romans. Uh huh. A discoring source book by Margaret Williams. And I'm on page 102. And these are tax records. Mm. And it proves that they called us nigger. There we go. All right, this <laughs> one is, is entitled IV. Dot 54. Uh -huh. Nigger, son of Antonio Rufus, has paid in respect of the two denarii tax on the Jews for the fourth year of Vespasian, eight drachmas. Uh, jump down to IV.56. Mm -hmm. Theodotus, also called Nigger, son of Antonio Rufus. Has paid in respect of the two denarii tax on the Jews. So these are tax records. Right. And they call us niggers. Call us niggers yeah. back then. So the same spirit, the same thing. So what makes y'all think they don't call you a nigger today? So they call us niggers. They called us a derogatory term back then. 
That's to identify the Israelites. The that's a byword. word, that's a byword right. word and a proverb, which is written in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. And let's go back to um I tell you go to bro. Verse 38. Yeah. The book of Acts, chapter 21 and verse 38. Okay. Are not thou that Egyptian? Are not thou the what? Egyptian. Uh-huh. Which before these days made us an uproar and laid us out into the wilderness, four thousand men. Mm -hmm. That were murderers. Mm -hmm. Now let me say this to y'all. Do your research, brothers and sisters. How did the ancient Egyptians look? Because them, them, them Egyptians over there today, those aren't true Jews. Those are Ottoman Turks over there. Mm -hmm. Those are Arabs. Okay. Those are not real. Those are not real Egyptians. Okay. The ancient Egyptians look dark, brothers and sisters. So during the time of Paul, the ancient Egyptians were still in their land. So that's why he asked Mr. Adal that Egyptian because he saw that Paul's a dark skinned man. So they got all these pictures up having Paul look like a doggone really white man. Mm. So if, if color don't matter, why they keep painting pictures of our forefathers and making them white? Because it's a lie. It's crafty counsel. Once again, we're reading Psalms 83 to make Israel of no remembrance. Because when you whitewash everything, you're showing that the Jews or the so-called um, uh, the Israel, I'm saying say Israelites. The Israelites are not shown mm -hmm. in our true form. You do it to do what? It's crafty counsel to get us to do what? To be in madness. I got another uh, quick scripture. Okay. Right around what you said. Okay, and I'm the, almost, I'm going to hit the last couple of scriptures. The book of Exodus chapter 2 and verse 19. Mm -hmm. And they said, Mm -hmm. An Egyptian delivered us out of the hand of the shot uh -huh. and also drew water enough for us and watered the flock. Mm -hmm. Talking about Moses. Right. So mm -hmm. Moses lived as an Egyptian, correct me if right. I'm wrong, right? Mm -hmm. Let's let, let, let me let me do something. Let's go to the New Testament for a second. And the last couple of scriptures, y'all, we're gonna we're gonna prove some points. Go to Matthew chapter two and give me verse 13 for a second. The angel of the Lord told Joseph to do something. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. <laughs> the angel of the Lord told Joseph to do something now. Why? Let's find out. The book of St. Matthew, mm -hmm. chapter 2, mm -hmm. and verse 13. Right. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph mm -hmm. in a dream, uh -huh. saying, Arise, uh -huh. and take the young child uh -huh. and his mother, uh -huh. and flee into Egypt. Flee into where? Into Egypt. So if Christ was a so-called white man, or Mary was, if they were all white, mm -hmm. <laughs> why are they going to a dark-skinned nation to hide? Because Herod is an Edomite. Right. This is Herod right here is a convert. Right. And what he's trying to do is kill Christ because he knows the prophecies. Mm. See, that's what y'all don't understand. From the time of the Greek captivity, we read about Antiochus. Mm -hmm. They came through that, the Herodians. Do your research. So they know all our customs and the prophecies. So they know Christ was coming to do what? To bring a new king. They knew that. Did um, you got something? Yeah. Uh, the same book, uh -huh. uh, The Invention of the Land of Israel. Uh -huh. The author speaks about Herod. There we go. Let's uh, go for it. Let's go for it, brother. Page three uh -huh. uh, at the top. Uh -huh. He said, which Herod and his descendants who had allied themselves with the Romans. Ooh, had, so that so remember the Romans appointed him into Israel. Mm -hmm. Right. Keep that in mind. Read on. And had constructed with innumerable stones in an effort to exile their the, the, the tyrannical. It's the tyrannical. They tyrant because mm -hmm. they were they were tyrants. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that's the root word. Tyrant tyranny. Okay, keep on, keep reading. Tyrannical uh -huh. regime. Uh-huh. Uh, filled with Trepidation mm -hmm. by the sheer immensity of the hewn stones, I felt tiny and weak mm -hmm. in their presence. So basically, just go on to say how small he felt among the statues. Because here's the thing, brothers and sisters, the Herodians, you understand something. They came through. We have we them with the Greeks, some Antiochus. Mm -hmm. That's the history that we. That's how you had the so-called Jews come through that. Now the Herodians, they already knew. What you about to say? You gotta be careful when you say that. Mm -hmm. The Herodians. Were Israelites that followed the Herod. There we go. So you have to call them Herod. Herod. There we go. I'm glad you said it. Thank you for the correction. Now the Herods, and you're dealing with now. Now I'm still, I'm still going to say this too. Mm -hmm. To go back to what I was saying. Right. When you look at it, 
for what it is. Mm -hmm. Herod was an Edomite. Right. He was a convert. That's all I want to say. He was a convert. And what happened was he knew our prophecies. Mm -hmm. He knew Christ was coming. He knew that. Mm -hmm. He wanted to kill Christ. So what happened was, to prove the point, how we know that Christ was a dark-skinned person and his mother and Joseph and so forth, they had to go into Egypt. Why? Because those people look like us. Right. So if he was a so-called white man, same way with Paul, mm -hmm. which has been taken for an Egyptian, why is that? Because it's showing that the Israelites were dark-skinned people at that time. Same mm -hmm. way we escaped. The same way. Wow. Same way. Same way during the time of um, um the same time when um when Christ was a, a um baby, they had to flee to Egypt the same way Christ told us right. our foreplanners to flee into Egypt. Right. To flee into Egypt or flee into, you know, um go to the mountains, pretty much. Mm -hmm. So that's where we're trying to prove that point. Okay. And that's the point. Okay, so, you got something that you want to say? I got one more thing to bring out. You said you had a couple of scriptures. I got one more thing. Go ahead and bring it out. Bring and out. it's damning. Okay, go ahead. So, you know, where mm -hmm. these two books go together. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> this is, again, the 13th tribe by Arthur Kessler, mm -hmm. page 80. I'm going to start at the bottom first. <clears throat> okay. But at the same time, the Khazars, were regarded with certain misgivings, both on racial grounds mm -hmm. and because of their suspected leanings toward the Karite heresy. On 11th century Hebrew author Japheth Ibn Ali, himself a Karite, explains mm -hmm. the word mamzer, bastard, by the example of the Khazars mm -hmm. who became Jews without belonging to the race. They became Jews. Now, mind you, this is the 13th tribe, right? Right. So all this stuff is scholarship right there. It's proven to y'all that they are the invention of the Jewish people. Right. Mm. They are invented. They're not true Jews. And well, this guy is quoting an, an author from the 11th century mm -hmm. that said, you know, mm -hmm. that they converted without belonging to the race. Right. <coughs> so now, mm -hmm. the first paragraph on page 80, while few Jewish travelers from the West mm -hmm. undertook hazardous journey to the Volga, they recorded encounters with the Khazar Jews. So he's saying, you know, that other real scholars ran across these Khazars in history. They recorded encounters with the Khazar Jews mm -hmm. at all principal centers mm -hmm. of the civilized world. Mm -hmm. Rabbi Petakia met with them in Baghdad. Benjamin of Tudela. Oh, so did we just pull this book? Right. Benjamin of Tudela, another scholar. Right. Benjamin of Tudela, mm -hmm. another famous traveler of the 12th century, mm -hmm. visited Khazar nobles in Constantinople and Alexandria. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go to that. Mm -hmm. This is page 78. And the Benjamin of Tudela, itinerary of Benjamin Tudela, is showing you it all coincides. Mm -hmm. Right. So watch this. Right. Alexandria, he said he ran across him in Alexandria. Mm -hmm. Alexandria is a commercial market for all nations. Merchants come thither from all the Christian kingdoms. Mm -hmm. On the one side, and he's going to start naming them. Right. I'm not going to name all of them. So we'll get to the point. From the land of Venetia and Lombardy, Tuscany, Apulia, Amphili, Sicilia, Calabria, R Ronga Kazaria. So he goes on naming all these nations, right? Kazaria, uh huh. And then when you get to the bottom of the paragraph, it mm -hmm. says, mm -hmm. and merchants of India. Remember, these are merchants from the Christian nations, mm -hmm. and Kazaria is one of them. He says, and merchants of India bring thither all kinds of spices, and the merchants of Edom buy them. So he knows. That all these like so-called European nations, mm -hmm. like Sicilia, Cazaria, Rome, I mean Rome, France, Normandy, all those countries 
All Edomites. Edomites. All of them Edomites. Because they call themselves different names. <laughs> Esau tries to hide, calls himself a French, calls himself all the German. You call yourself a European. You try you try to call yourself all these things that are high. Right. But Benjamin Tudela, he's showing you, he know who you are. You can't hide. You call yourself someone French, right? Oh yeah, Frank's in it. Yeah, yeah. They call and someone Frank. All them Frank. Franks, right? But when the the funny thing is though, when you're looking in primary source history, it keeps saying the same thing over and right. over and over. They all agree. Um mm -hmm. Right. Here he is again on page 33. Okay. All sorts of merchants come here from the land of Babylon, from the land of Shinar, Persia, Media, and all the sovereignty of the land of Egypt, mm -hmm. and from the land of Canaan. And the empire of Russia, from Hungary, Pakistan, and Khazaria. So he doesn't say they're Edomites here, but he's a Jew in search of other Jews and Israelites, he does not recognize them as Jews. Exactly, exactly. My fact, let's go, let's go to what the, what the Messiah says. Mm. Okay, give me the, give me the Revelation, <laughs> yeah. chapter two, verse nine, and give me Revelation three and nine. I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna close it out with this. See, this is what y'all understand, brothers and sisters. We pull up those books as primary sources. And the reason why we had to do that is because it coincides with prophecies. It mm -hmm. coincides with the Bible. And the man even used, even a couple of people used scriptures to even prove the point. And the bottom line is, what we have to do is start, we have to keep studying and researching. Because a lot of these lies are being put, being put out there. And Christ says it to us, he warns us. Okay, the Revelation, chapter three, 2 and verse 9. When really, all these two scriptures we're about to read, it's mm -hmm. all you really need. Exactly. Because why would Christ say this? Okay. Mm -hmm. The book, mm -hmm. the Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. All right. I know thy works. Christ says, I know thy works. Okay. He's talking about us. Knows our works. Read on. And tribulation. Because we're going through great tribulation. Because it said it. We we're going to go through great tribulation. Right. Read on. And poverty. We are in poverty. Let me tell you something. We are in poverty. <laughs> are the so called Jews in poverty right now? No. They, they got, listen, they got their own country right now. They even took our country. They got their own military. They have a Zionist movement. Look at them in New York. They right. got their own community. Right. Their own police force. Right. Their own hospital. Right. Crown Heights, man. I'm going to tell you something. They got their own stuff. You know what I'm saying? They got so, so they're not in poverty. Nope. They own banks. Like I said, mm -hmm. they own everything. We don't own nothing. So that's not talking about them. Mm -hmm. He said, I know about poverty. Right. Read on. But thou art rich. We're rich in spirit. Okay. Because we know. Is a means to an end. <laughs> Believe that. Read on. And I know the blasphemy. The blasphemy, the lies. It's nothing but straight lies. They blaspheming us. They blaspheming the most high by lying. Read on. Of them which say they are Jews. Say they're Jews, but call it I'm Jewish. I'm an Israeli. Say they are Jews. That's why they hate Christ. That's the main reason why. Because they know when Christ comes back, heads gonna roll. Read on. And are not. And are not. But are the synagogues of, of Satan. Satan. You best believe that. Synagogue, that's what Christ calls them. We, is that something we made up? No. Christ himself says they are the synagogue of Satan. Meaning you the devil. Meaning you the damn devil. Believe that. Now go to uh, stay in Revelation. Mm -hmm. Stay in Revelation. The revealing of. <laughs> mm -hmm. The revealing of. Three and nine. The yeah. book mm -hmm. the book of Revelation, mm -hmm. chapter three and verse nine. All right. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. He, he says it again. I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. Read on. Which say they are Jews. See, here we go again. See, he says it again. Which say they are Jews. Read on. And are not. And are not. Read on. But do lie. They lie. Listen. Oh, we're in, we're, we're the true Jews. They're lying. Because the scriptures ain't even their own little, even their own people telling them. We're not real Jews. We converted. Mm -hmm. So you're lying. They're living on they're living like they're living like we're supposed to be living basically in our law. Mm -hmm. But they're adding stuff and making their own traditions. Okay? Read on. Behold, uh -huh. I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. Uh-huh. And to know that I have loved thee. You better believe that. 
because in the end, brothers and sisters, they're going to worship before our feet. Believe that what, that what the Lord says. Mm -hmm. We ain't making this up. The Lord says they're going to worship before our feet because of what they've done and they're still doing. Okay? Understand something, brothers and sisters. We're about the truth here. About as it is written, that's how we teach. Okay? You're in the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 29. The book of Acts, mm -hmm. chapter 5, mm -hmm. and verse 29. Yes, sir. Then Peter uh -huh. and the other apostles answered and said, Okay, we are to obey God mm -hmm. rather than men. And that's who we must obey, brothers and sisters. We must obey the Most High in Christ and the Holy Scriptures rather than the silly philosophies of man okay um does anyone have any questions pertaining to today's class anyone have any was everyone okay today yeah i'm mute him, I'm mute him. <laughs> oh yes <yeah>, right <laughs> shalom shalom does is everyone clear in today's class you have any questions Y'all good? Y'all good? Huh? Y'all good? All right, all right. <laughs> it must be an echo. It must be an echo. I, I hear myself speaking. <laughs> Listen, y'all. Um, We want to give the Most High Christ all the praise and glory for allowing us to even expound his word, to be able to bring the truth out of who we really are exactly um like i said you know enjoy the close out brothers and sisters because um you know we are still in tabernacles this is it um like i said before it's a pleasure to even be able to teach this word in the spirit and truth mm. um y'all stay strong okay because we know that satan is always busy okay stay strong most on christ bless everybody is everyone good all right all right everybody Y'all stay blessed, stay strong. Shalom, boys, find Christ blessed. Oh, what? No, they're good. Okay. We're going to, um, for those on Facebook, mm -hmm. we're going to put up uh, the information on these books. Okay. Okay. So y'all just hold tight. Okay. We're going to close it out, but we're going to put that information up. Okay. I might just put it on my page, just post them on my page. Okay. But we're going to put them up for y'all. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. I will look in the day. So, I will look in the day. Look in the day. So, shalom, everybody. Shalom, shalom everybody. Y'all take it easy because look, it's about getting this truth out, y'all. <laughs> yep. Man, how long?